Yo yo, what's good YouTube? This is Engo and today it's gonna be the third video and like promised I'm gonna show you how to register your styles in JavaScript to your project. So let me just go to the template hierarchy in the WordPress codex just to revise what we did in the previous lesson number two. So in the template hierarchy I just wanted to show you that these are the basic pages you need for a WordPress uh, like blog, like an archive page which is gonna hold all the blog posts and author archive category custom uh, post uh, date tag whatever you need and the singular page which is a single post page and the site front page so just know that a front page if it exists it's gonna basically override the home.php and the index.php it's gonna be the the front page for your blog posts and this is also a blog post uh, that could be used it's called home.php but if from page that PHP exists, it will override it. Just bear in mind that an error that four four PHP and the search results that PHP. So this has been a minute already. Let me just get to the registering the JavaScript and CSS three. So you're just gonna write Bootstrap five in Google. Get Bootstrap five, then go into download in the middle over here. And <clears throat> let me just show you the compile CSS and JavaScript that are required. In the CSS files, we need bootstrap.css. This is including all the layout, the content, and component. And you could uh, like get a minified version of all of these uh, with like only the grid system and only the flex utilities and only reboot. You could read more about this. But for now, we just need bootstrap bundle.js and bootstrap.css alright so we're gonna go on top over here and download I'm sorry download and then compile CSS and JavaScript so download that go into downloads just one second alright so I already downloaded this before I'm just gonna let me just delete this and delete this as well. Let me just extract that folder. I'm gonna extract the folder. I'm gonna get two files, <coughs> which is gonna be bootstrap.css. So here in your project directory, you're just gonna create a folder it's called assets, and then in there you're gonna create another folder called CSS and another folder called JavaScript which is going to hold your CSS and JavaScript and basically your assets folder uh, is where you could put in your template uh, hierarchy basically your images, your CSS3 files uh, from external libraries uh, JavaScript and you could also add like a folder called vendor which you could add like external libraries but I do not recommend so let me just put in bootstrap.css in the CSS folder close that and let me just revise something the bootstrap the the yeah bootstrap bundle.js this is the required one so bootstrap bundle.js it's not about being required or what but this is like where these two files are uh, they include most of the styles that we need so in index.php i just need you to open a php tag and WP head, right? WP head, which is basically a. Uh, let me just go to the WordPress codex. I don't want to keep saying things from my mind. I just want to make sure I'm getting everything. Yeah, it is a function which basically displays the data uh, action. All right, so basically, what uh, this does, like. To me, like I don't know, like all all the documentation. Basically, what this does is uh, just retrieve the header files, uh, like the styles and everything. If this is not here, it will not work. So uh, yeah, so we're just gonna create another file. Uh, I'm sorry, in the yeah, in the main directory, it's gonna call functions.php and create another one called. I'm sorry, just one second. Not functions. Yeah, we need to make a header.php and a footer.php. So in the footer, you're just going to open a PHP tag as well and wp footer, which is the same thing but for the footer. 
and close that function and in the header php oops wp head and then of course in the index.php you're just gonna get the header and get the footer so right now we're gonna see all right just one second so we don't okay that's the issue all right so right now we don't have anything in the header and the footer so basically we're just going to be adding the styles right now so let me just make sure everything is just working correctly and then we're just going to echo test over here so yeah it's working so we need to make a function that's php this is where these tiles are going to be registered but i'm going to register them in a more organized way it's uh, basically going to be a another assets.php so we're just going to make another folder that's going to be called included in the main directory it's going to be called inc which stands for included and then we're going to make an assets.php and in there let me just get some helper code over before just one second so that is in the assets.php right, let me just remove these old uh, php tags all right i'm just going to explain this in a minute but just one second let me get the wp all right wp and q all right i'm gonna make this video into two videos by the way guys into two parts so just watch the next video and i'm going to be continuing registering this thousand